Hey world, this is your boy, Mr. Sandman, Sand44 Man. I'm in my grandparents' home, which a home that my grandfather worked over all his life to try to, to keep for his family. This is the home my mother was raised in, my aunts was raised in, my uncle. And you know, this is the way that the community has treated this home. Right now, I just pulled up, and uh, there are some gentlemen out here from the city of Detroit, and also a private contractor that is uh, sitting here boarding up the house as we speak. Remember when Sandman told you he was born in the 60s and 70s? When I looked out this porch, I seen a tank come from that street right there, Gophy turn down this street and ride up my grandmother's parents' street. That's how it used to be. Now, look at my grandparents' home. This was a beautiful home. This was a very beautiful home. And now, the community has destroyed it. Over next door, this used to be her girlfriend, her best girlfriend's house. I'll take you over there in a minute. But see how, how her, her house is so destroyed. This is our city, y'all. No one is exempt. No one. My grandparents lived in this neighborhood for all their life on the wall when they go through. And this is the way the neighborhood treated them. This is my grandparents' home. None of this was ever here. Ever. This is how they've done my grandparents' home. The home in which my mother, my aunts, my uncle, they lived in this house. This is the kitchen in which my grandmother cooked beautiful breakfasts every, every morning I was here. To know that this would be on her walls. We never, ever thought this. All these cabinets I've went in. Every one of these cabinets I have went in. Every one. And now look. Just total devastation. And this is my grandparents' home, y'all. Just what the community felt about my grandparents that they would do their home like this. This is the neighbor next door's house. She used to be a good friend of my grandparents as you see her house the same way. That's the whole side view. This back door is the door that I used to stand on all the time with my grandfather. Now it's cluttered with just leaves and trees and everything. I'm almost scared to stand on it because I don't want to fall through this motherfucker. But let me see if I can. Yeah, it's kind of sturdy. This is the backyard that I used to play in. This is the way that my grandparents' home was left because I don't know why. I guess my grandmother was supposed to be making the community a better place by reporting stolen cars that were being placed in our grandparents' um, garage. And we had to move her out because we didn't want her hurt around here. And as an end result, the neighborhood found out that she moved and came through here and just demolished the house as you see. the stairwell my granddaddy used to always come up every morning and I would go down every morning and come up every day I used to watch him it was a long stairwell and I used to watch him come all the way from the bottom be like hey granddaddy come all the way from down there
come all the way up these stairs. And then when he came up these stairs, he came into not this kind of house, but I mean, he had a beautiful home. And now it's just totally destroyed. There's just no hope for this house. Actually, this house is considered condemned. But it's my parent, I'm my parent and my grandparents' home. My, my, my mother lived here. Look, rest in peace to somebody. I wonder, did he put any of this on the walls? I can't believe that my grandparents' house is destroyed in this type of manner. What could my grandmother have done just to report that people were getting their cars stolen and that they were dropping them off in their backyard, in their garage? Was this a reason to retaliate? My grandparents would probably be turned over in their grave right now. And I just lost my grandmother in November of last year. She has never seen this house and she has never seen this footage ever. I could never face myself to show her how when she worked and my grandfather worked all their lives to make this happen, could I show her that this is their end result. People tell me, Sanford, you want to get you a house for this to happen? <laughs> I'm just 46 years old. My grandfather and grandmother worked over 50 years for this house. They've had this house over 50 years. And this is the end result. This is the end result. This is the total end result. This is Sandman's grandparents' home, y'all. The footage that you are seeing right now may be extremely graphic, but it's to prove a point. No one cares about anybody in the city of Detroit, no matter how long you've been here. Everything is just about the crack baby. This hurts me, y'all, because this is my grandparents' home. I would never know that my grandparents' home would be treated in this type of manner. I am so devastated right now because it's not like this is the first time that I've seen a house like this because I've been here numerous times. It's just the point that every time I look at this house and see the devastation like I'm seeing it right now, it hurts me. It really does. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I used to walk down these stairs all the time. Because this was my grandparents' home. Now, it's just a shell. They roll across with the grass to keep it down. Now where I'm going next is next door. 
That is my grandmother's best friend's house, Miss Rudolph. Miss Rudolph used to live here for many, many years. And this is her house. Now they haven't started anything on Miss Rudolph house. And once again, we're here on Baldwin and Gothi in the city's Detroit East Side. And let's take a look at Miss Rudolph's house because I really did used to always come over Miss Rudolph's house and I never known it to be this this just devastating. This is Miss Rudolph's house, my great I mean my grandmother's best friend's house that lives right next door to her or lived right next door to her for many, 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 many years. And this is what the community felt about her house too. This is sad, y'all. This is totally sad. Our communities are done like this. This is the kitchen of Miss Rudolph. Miss Rudolph always kept a very, very immaculate house. As you can see, this was her back porch and she would hang her laundry out here and talk to my grandmother right across the fence. I understand right now you can't tell if it was a fence there or not. I can show you over there a little bit. There's the fence and all that wasn't there and this wasn't like this. These are some or more neighbors that were right next door. I seen all these neighbors. All these neighbors were good neighbors. But well, back to Miss Rudolph's house. This is Miss Rudolph's house. And Miss Rudolph's house is just totally, totally destroyed, just like my grandparents' home. Let's go up her upstairs. Just the whole complete devastation of the people's houses that worked so long and so hard to have a, a, a residence. And now that they've gotten old and passed on, this is the end result of their homes. This is one of her bedrooms. Here's another room. Beautiful room. Nice view. destroyed. And next door. My grandmother and Miss Rudolph used to talk right here on this porch out of her window. was her attic. They did some of everything up in here.
This was a nice house, ladies and gentlemen. This was. This was a very nice house. Until now. This was her living room. I know Miss Rudolph is so was so upset when she heard this had happened to her house. But you know, this is what happens when the kids run us. The kids do what they want to do. Oh shit, I just stepped on a fucking nail. Boy, this is my foot. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's the nail that went in my goddamn shoe. Let me get out of here. Before I get fucked up. Oh, I'm so glad it didn't go in my skin. Oh my God. Everybody just died up in here. Not just the birds. This was Miss Rudolph's house, a friend of my grandmother, a very dear friend of my grandmother's. I never knew that her house was in such a disarray, but now what we're going to do is, I didn't know her house was such in a disarray like this, but it just shows what the impact of what I was trying to tell you all. It's not just the east side, it's not just the west side, it's Detroit, period. If we're going to show this, we need to put this on the air so somebody can get mad enough to want to do something about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you next door. This is a neighbor, another neighbor's house that we used to, um, to kick it with. There were some friends of mine. Now, that makes number three house for today. As you can see, it's not just number three house. It's number four house. It's number five house. The, 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 the list goes on. I don't even have to leave this street. I already just showed you my grandparents' house. Yeah, that don't look too good. Safety hazard. House totally ruined. We used to come here, play. I used to play with the neighbors, kids that lived here. Gotta watch myself because a lot of nails laying around. But this is what's going on, y'all, in the city of Detroit. This is what's happening. All of this. All of that. Now, you ask yourself, do we have a job problem? No, we don't have a job problem. We can hire every motherfucking teenager or kid in the city of Detroit to clean up these houses and we would not have a problem of finding jobs for them. Look at this. Now I'm going to take you through this alley. And I'm going to take you through this alley and down to my grandparents' alley to see where their home looks like. Now this is, this is just leftover stuff that, you know, no one wanted to pick up. But something is going on. Something in here is dead, y'all. I don't know if it's a body because I don't smell nothing. But it's a whole lot of flies in here. A whole lot of flies. This is the alleyway. 
leading to my grandparents' home. That's the alleyway. Now I'm going to take you into my grandparents' garage and let's take a look and see what that looks like. 